Welcome back into the jam on you. Christmas is fast approaching and shoppers are trying to find the right gift. But what about gifting at the office? If you buy a gift for one person, are you required to get something for everybody? It's kind of funky how that whole thing works out. Holidays are tricky, but etiquette and lifestyle expert Akila Easter is here to help us navigate the world of office gift giving. Welcome, Akila. Happy you. to have Thanks you so here. Thanks so much for having me. So can you give me some tips on appropriately gift giving around the office? What are the rules to giving a coworker a gift properly? Well, you probably want to establish rules in the office to where there's a limit that we're going to have and hopefully people will stay with that limit. So I say like a $20, $25 limit and everybody gets a gift. You can't just pick one person in the office. If you do want to give a special person in the office a gift, take them out for dinner, you know, do the gift exchange outside of the so office. So if you place. give one person a gift, you do have to give It should be obligated. Gift? Yes, they're like, oh, so I heard you got... Could you do it secretly though? Yes, that's what I say. Take them outside, okay. go to dinner, then you can give that gift. But there should be a universal gift giving within the office just to keep the holiday spirit up. Okay, so now everybody always asks this question because they don't want to be the brown noser, but they also don't want to upset the boss. <laughs> right. Are you supposed to give the boss a gift? It's technically not appropriate to give your boss a gift, but you can, as all the colleagues come together, they can pool their funds and then they can all give the boss a gift. You don't want to show, have the boss having a situation of favoritism. So you should avoid trying to sneak in that little gift, maybe a nice card, and then everybody in the office gets a gift. So it looks the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so if I'm, I work with two lovely ladies yes. who are the co-hosts here who do a phenomenal job mm -hmm. of following their coattails most of the time. Have you gotten their gifts yet? I haven't gotten theirs, but okay. should I expect a gift from them? Yes, you should. They should, so if they're listening right now, now they should know. <laughs> that just they, they, they right. just up. Oh, I gotta buy right. this guy something great. <laughs> They're getting to know you, so they probably know something about you that's unique, and they can share that gift for you. Mm -hmm, okay. So now, system. do you? Is it reciprocal? Do you negotiate? Like, okay, if they gave me this, do you wait for a gift and say, "I'll give them something that cost this much"? <laughs> that is you petty. That I, is I'm, petty. No, I'm trying to figure out, like, so as not to upset them, is to get well, something cheaper than what they give you. I mean, right. is there science to this whole? Thing? Well, that's how we establish the the cost. So we communicate with each other. You know, let's not spend over twenty five dollars, especially if you have a large office. So you want to make sure that you set a cost and everybody abides by that. And don't do the $5 out of the $25 range. So you want to make sure that you're living up to that range. Mm -hmm. Is there always like a home run gift to give? Like I feel like gift certificates, coffee is always a big thing. Yes. So Starbucks gift card. Right. So if you want to do traditional things like what I brought were little chocolates. So okay. the uniqueness about these chocolates is that they're from Chicago, made in Chicago, and they have Chicago icons all throughout oh. here. So that's one thing. So you added a twist to it. And this is from Veruca. They're no, located in, on Halstead Street. Okay. And then here's another thing that I'm in love with. It's an ornament of chocolate. So it, can't go wrong there. You can't. It melts in hot. You you warm milk. It melts, and then five to seven minutes later, you have hot chocolate. Wow. Yeah. So these are some things that you're adding a twist. It's traditional, but it's it's did is a personalized statement. And it's practical and very easy. Right, definitely. Keila, that sounds fantastic. It is the gifting season. Make sure you do it right, especially in the office place. You got to see those people Monday through Friday. You don't want to upset them. Akilah, thank you very much thank for Thank you the for time. having really me. Really appreciate it. You can check out more about Akilah on her website, akilahct.com.